Yes, OK, I'll try, I'll try and be brief because my, my voice will give out very quickly. Um, it's a real pleasure and privilege that Cambridge has declared itself a city of sanctuary. Uh, OK, I'll try. Um, what's, a, what's a city of sanctuary? Um, it's a network of cities all over the UK who are doing things for and with migrants and refugees. And I'm going to talk about refugees, but I think migrants and refugees are just human beings on the same journey um, towards a life, a family, business, hope. Um, so I could talk for a long time about what happens in City of Sanctuary. My favourite is a, a little place called Talgarth in Wales, a tiny little village. Um, every month, or twice a month, they bring 50, 60, 70 migrants and refugees out to the country to give them picnics, give them walks, respite days, see, let the children walk amongst the country, meet other people. Um, my friend Ailsa, who works there, her favourite story is of a, uh, a football match which was organised uh, between some migrant children and local children. And one of the kids, the local kids, said, oh, that was really great. Oh, I the temperatures were below zero. I was working in the, the warehouse which supplies or supplied the jungle, and which currently supplies Dunkirk and Paris. It was like minus one, minus two, minus three degrees in the warehouse. And that weekend, there were 150 plus children sleeping outside in the countryside, nowhere to go, not looked after. If the police find them, they take away their sleeping bags, their clothes, their boots, their blankets. That is what is happening over there. Uh, words kind of fail me. So why, what, what is it, this us and them thing? I do not understand it. A, a, a quick tour around the Market Square. That kind of narrow brown-shaped building um, is where Acorn started. I worked there for a while. Out of Acorn um, grew the Arm Chip Company. Anybody got a smartphone? Yeah, one of the biggest chip companies in the world. Started by Hermann Hauser, a uh, German, uh, sorry, Austrian. You kill, kill me. Sorry. <laughs> okay, next to it, Marks and Spencer. Marks, the Polish Jew. Um, the Vice Chancellor of Cambridge University comes from a Polish Jew family background. I don't, I do not understand this, the, the walls that are being built between people. Um, I've got a couple of quotes from the Guardian. I'll be very quick. I feel scared after the referendum. In my workplace, I have heard people saying things such as, pack your bags and get the out. Uh, another one. I am heartbroken about the result. I have been living here for almost 10 years, and I must say, I have never, you, you get the message. The, the people, the migrants, the EU nationals here are providing so much for us. They're building our businesses, they're entrepreneurs, they're contributing so much, and we have to support them. Uh, what else? Well, the, the final thing I, I just want to say is that Cambridge is not a successful, vibrant, technological powerhouse of the city that, by the way, welcomes refugees and has refugees at its heart. It is a technological, vibrant, wonderful, successful powerhouse of a place course of the refugees who've lived here and the migrants who've lived here and who've contributed so much and I want to thank them.